Welcome back to Hand of Fate. In this very special episode, we will go against the 12th member of the court. One more run. One more attempt. The King of Scales. The King of Scales uh, is nasty. And I think of all the curses we've gone up against, this here, Skin Rash, is the one that just gives me pause the most. Because drawing from the pain deck on every fourth step could mean anything from losing gold to, I suppose, getting cursed, um, losing food, taking damage, losing maximum health. By the time we actually get to the King of Scales, we're going to be in pretty bad shape. Hungry Blades, well, we've dealt with it before. I don't mind it too much unless I have weapon ability, which is absolutely crucial. But Skin Rash is going to be what really means I want to get to uh, the King of Scales as fast as possible. You should run. This is the King of Scales. He has lived since before humans came to this place. Mighty and lonely and dangerous beyond measure. He cannot win. But I certainly have to try. I've loaded the encounter deck and the equipment deck again. Our last run of the merchant guard. Hopefully everything will go well. I have a feeling we'll be losing a lot of gold and quite possibly a lot of health before this is over. Let's see how far we get. The dagger, my final symbol. Can you take it from me? Even if you can, could you turn it against me? I, who know it's every mystery, I think not. Here we are at the gates of finality. You or I must die. ominous dealer but what's less ominous is this trader's ring I believe we might have seen it before but regardless if we do find equipment we can then sell it and hopefully stay alive a little bit longer very nice indeed speed is the name of the game here and unfortunately um, a little bit hard to tell where to go Start with the easiest. That was fortunate. Treasure chest, while nice, would also have been time away. I could steal from the angry guild master, but holy forge and nomads desert are liabilities right now. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. I have not thought of my own mortality in an age or more. Now you force me face to face with it. Getting even more ominous there. Maybe it's safe to go up here. Ah. Curious. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? But this is one situation I actually don't want to turn back. Sorry, I don't want to go on. Just because of the merchant guard. I don't really want to be cursed if there's an ambush at that shop. And this encounter, Ghost of the Sea, is part of the Murder at Sea DLC that we've been dealing with with the taverns. 
It's one of the two branches that I mentioned in the last video. And visiting it right now is not good until we complete more of the next branch. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Metal ore is completely useless. The Holy Forge is above. The fight itself was mostly uneventful, except for losing a little bit of health to the mages. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Yeah, right now I won't really be able to do anything but identify these. Ring of Reward would certainly be nice, I'm sure. And Folded Steel is an artifact we haven't seen yet, but got unlocked recently. Moving and attacking faster would certainly be nice, I'm sure. But it's Ring of Reward that I would get here if I could. I don't really have anything that I want to sell. Merchant's Ring is necessary for me to avoid the ambushes, and the Trader's Ring is... Nice. In fact, low prices from the Merchant Guard are the only thing that are likely to keep me alive right now. If only you were better organized, you might have enough food to make it. brings you to play the game. Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Starvation begins to set in. Try to stay calm. Fear will only hasten your demise. We're in bad sorts already. To the point where we're going to have to enter the Crucible and hope for the best. That was pretty tight. A bunch of traps and rat men did me in. chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. Absolutely. Famine lurks over your very shoulder, waiting. Oh, this would be nice. The Oracle's diadem was unlocked from visiting the Oracle, I believe. 30 gold is steep right here. And the shield breaker never had a chance to look at. 
ignoring the opponent's blocking action would be nice. Despite the curse of this dungeon. And for once, I think I am actually going to heal wounds. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. So I'm alive, and if the pain cards aren't too bad, I can go to the right, down, left, and then up if that's really where I need to go. Ah. I was hoping to avoid this. Sure. One hit is fine. But I don't really want to do any more. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. This is extremely close, and I would like to unlock this uh, token here. Not the best decision in the world. But it will heal me. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. A little quirk I noticed when setting my encounter deck. The Landlocked Lubber is a series of numbered story encounters. Um, number three is still locked to our deck, and yet here we are encountering four. Slight misordering. It's not going to prevent us from doing anything, but it's a nice little quirk of this DLC. Well, if we die, we'll at least uh, get a token. But hopefully you won't have to see that. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Well, just in case. Different. Let's start with the right. Genuine. I don't necessarily want to kill. I could just leave. But I want to see if I can get any kind of gain here. Let's go with the killing option. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I may cut this a little bit later on in the fight, but I want to point out that this is entirely possible to draw. Um, the combat cue is working in our favor. We can see all the combats. We have a shield, so we're not too badly off. Um, problem is the range attackers are actually really annoying to us. So if they get off their uh, three time attacks, we are in really bad shape. Thankfully, the melee attackers are pretty nice, and they will not attack us in more than one at a time. I just have to worry about the rat special attack when they leap at us. If I could get rid of the range attackers, that would be lovely.
Okay, got one. That makes my life a little bit easier. And he gets me, of course. I am not happy with the poison. My only saving grace is that it looks like the uh, ranged attacker was himself poisoned. I didn't think the Ratmen would uh, suffer their own plague, but it looks like I was lucky. Unfortunately, it becomes really hard to track what's on the battlefield. The Rat Man is a deceptively annoying enemy, not just for the dash, but because it means there's one more person on this field who might poison me. Fortunately, the enemies keep dodging out of the mortal, bro mortal blow animation. I just want to kill them. Okay, one more down, and we're not dead. I ideally want to leave the Rat Man too la for last, specifically because of the chance of poisoning. He's proving really annoying. Okay, well. He's dead. I now need to make sure to absolutely not go near him in any way. This was not the best of ideas. A little story about these double six cards. I once had a combat in a test run uh, before I started doing this LP where somehow I drew two six of scales and the boss we're about to go against. And let me tell you, it was something. Perhaps your mind is such that only violence has a lasting impact upon it. Maybe, but hopefully this food will be useful. Well, we're screwed. Really, we haven't gotten much equipment at all. If I could get anything at all to sell, that would be great. Oh, the Hags wraps. I really, really could use them. Or the Plunder's cap, despite my condition. But as of right now, the single food is really all that I can do that's meaningful. Let's see. Maybe I'm right. Fight the Lizardmen, if you will, but proceed with caution. They are smarter than they appear. Okay, more fighting. I'll try my luck with the Jack.
This is actually a far better showing of the jack than I was able to show before. Um, the jack is actually very deadly when you keep having to interrupt his revival attacks. And you need to repeatedly attack him to get him to stop. Since we are at very low equipment here, this is actually a slightly more dangerous fight than when we originally saw him. And skeletons uh, are also slightly beefier. Oh, but this could be good. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Okay. The Lizard Dome has actually delivered and we have a bit of gold. I think it's time to go back to the mage. Before we officially lose more gold. This is useless. This is not. Alchemical silver could be nice, but I don't trust my ability to just interesting choice attack indiscriminately. But now we do have something that will help us against enemies, and pain cards shouldn't take it away. Mages treat the world as their plaything and its inhabitants as their toys. Worry not. He will be put in his place eventually. I am sure. More fighting, hopefully more gains. Huh, if nothing else, you have the attention of the lizard men. Excellent. Mr. Summoner, you may have made our day. A weapon of precision. Unlike you, if you don't mind me saying. We have not had the chance to use life slim so far in this LP. It's always passed us by, but I've gotten comments that it's a very nice weapon. It's not specifically good against Lizardmen, but if for some reason we don't find any other weapon before the end, I think we'll give it a shot. But the press 1 to inflict a curse of weakening might have to wait until the boss. Unless for some reason I run out of food. As pleases you. Ooh, that's bad. Now, this is my kind of travel. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring. More of the same comments. The retaining of. Simply since I have gold and hopefully will be able to buy food. The use of power. The shops are definitely the best place to go because I have to visit the shops anyhow, in case of ambushes. The fate, at least, is a nice sign poster. And conveniently, we have the last encounter for this fate. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. This is oddly creepy.
We cleared this fate's last encounter, but let me tell you, that was rough. Rat King with uh, in an arena that's kind of twisty, with areas that are small to dodge. The Queen were all extremely painful. Please, priest, tell me you have something good for me. And out of curiosity, yeah. 135 and 180. Not gonna happen. And... Not... No, not able to. I'm sure you are grateful for that. The pendulum can swing both ways. Food and health are back to the name of the game. I'll recover some health, unless the game decides to be particularly nasty to me. There's a token in it for you, if you win. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Vampires are bad news. Oh dear. Not yet. Do this first. Help the locals was uncovered by the Murdered Seed DLC. It is a card which requires you to help people for a while and eventually get something good out of it. Fighting monsters is the first part. And I'm nice enough, I'm going to attempt this fight, as silly as it might be. Yeah, I completed the fight, got hit a couple times by dodging into the Lava Golem, and... Of course, they say they'll repay us twofold. So you can visit this again and the encounter will change. But right now, we're a little worse for wear. Just in case. No. No ambush. It's either not likely or not possible at the healer, but uh, I still needed to check. I could sell my axe. It would net me a bit of food, but I'm still okay. Let's loop back around and hope we don't hurt too much. This is just piling on. And I'm really sorry. I really would want to... Well, hold on a sec. Um... 
No, that'll be a bit too much food. See, this is getting worse and worse. This is the trade-off. I could leave. I could leave. But every time I say I can't resist gold, it's because all the resources are now really, really tight. And if there is a shop on the next level, I'll want to buy something. Just in case. I'll go through. Ooh, and we've got a goblin grenadier shooting at us. This is going to be great. So a lovely thing, um, as an aside, I haven't really had a chance to mention it. I've done a little bit of testing in these dungeons, and these dungeons are generated at the moment you enter them. And... Uh, some of them are quite painful. Oh god. Yeah, that was the trap. I've had bad luck with these in test runs. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Perfect armor for the perfect warrior. Yet one slip from perfection's edge, and you are rendered merely human once more. Very interesting choice. If there was a way of avoiding getting hit, this would be pretty darn good. I'm going to give it a shot for now, just in case. I think it'll be good to show it off. It's a little risky for this dungeon, but what's the point of the LP? Show things off. Really? Is that what you're going to do? If you only knew what happens behind the closed doors. Secret Society is a card we are not going to deal with right now. It is a very particular condition. If I had way more curses than I had blessings, I could do something. And I would have a uh, way to acquire the token. As it happens, we haven't really acquired that many curses. I'm just going to walk away. Maybe we'll do it later. Maybe not. I am sorry. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. And there goes Critical Strike. You are my most persistent foe. Here it ends. We might make it through this. Low health, low gold, but so far, not awful. I'm still not sure if I'm feeling that armor, but let me just double check what I've got. Life Slim is the only real damage dealer I have, and it's not super effective against Lizardmen. I still have a very basic shield. Tag wraps will hopefully get me through this. I'm glad I put it back in. Wilderness armor, we will test. Merchant's Guard helm is... It is what it is. At, after these shops, I probably won't need it anymore. If I can find a replacement, I might go do that. Probably not, though. Running short on food again. Let's take my luck with... Let's, let's try Blessing. 
Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. No, that wasn't useful. All right. Let's try the armor. Oh, okay. That is incredibly fast. I am walking through. But as it happens... Ooh. It is also making my character harder to control. And I can't see what the mages are doing. Oh, they're doing their tri-attack. Lovely. Okay. They're still doing their three-prong attack. And I have to be careful not to step into it, because otherwise that could hurt a lot. It's actually working a little bit to my advantage to be on this field. Because um, projectile can't penetrate walls, and neither can my attacks. Not too bad. Ah, something I haven't seen. An enormous shield. Reducing move speed is not great. Uh, well, okay, here we go. Frostfang. Frostfang is quite possibly what I want. What I will do, however, is sell the Wilderness Armor. It's not that great. It's fantastic in a lighter scenario, and I would love to wear it and do a lot more damage and run around. But I also know that the heavy armor here will be slightly more useful for me. Now I have bunch of spaces to go through. If I get more gold, maybe I'll go here. A little bit more gold. Life Slim is back. Cool. Fortunate will unlock this. And I mentioned earlier that both three and four were in my deck. Well, I'm knocking them out at once. Win this and claim my token. It has been a long time since I have seen the Serpent Mark. Once again, we'll try for the token. Let's open it. A choice. Select your desire. Not bad. There are more possible outcomes for this card. This is a pretty benign one. A gain, and the card's token is ours. Easy enough. There is another possibility where something a little bit more nefarious is released. 
A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Okay, not bad. 70 health. We're back up a little bit. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Oh, the original charity. I mentioned it in some uh, video notes. Charity, along with the Blood Auction and the Demon Trader, is an encounter line that can go up quite a few, uh, up to six. The details about charity is that you need to give food, and the amount of food you give increases your chances of success. We're right next to a shop, so we can acquire more food. I am going to try for this. Yeah. Five food right now is two successes. And uh, that was easy. The gods look upon you favorably. I spoke wonders about Wrath of the Old Gods in the last dungeons. Wrath of the Old Gods will not necessarily help us now. I'll speak a bit more to that in a bit. Of course. Probably the last ambush of this dungeon. Life Limb was pretty good in that fight. Uh, the king was still pretty menacing, though. Finally, an opportunity to eat. All right, last chance to buy food. I can hear the vultures circling. I don't think I can buy anything here. I just have too little. Damage for gold? Well, that's actually unfortunate, because I'm really low on gold. Looks like we're going to have to do the King of Scales the old-fashioned way. The hard way. It must be nice to be unpredictable. I am as bound by the rules I've written as you are. Shall we try? One last try for the road. Very lucky. Useful. Not actually that useful. Left, right. Do you seriously make a practice of interfering with hideously powerful magical artifacts? Well, actually, yes, it seems to be a character trait. Dark Crystal. Okay. We play for a token now. This is a lot of lava golems. With any luck, we'll make it through it. Because we do still want the token. We are an adventurer at heart, rotten or otherwise.
I foolishly used the weapon ability as I was being cornered by the golems. I was still used to being at zero food from being at the store. And it's going to hurt a little bit going forward. So let's see. 13 gold. Not an impossible situation. Ouch. If only you had a meal. Let's just get through this ambush. This is a little bug. I find nothing, but apparently I get a gain card. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. All right, last shot. Exactly what I need. I'd like a little bit more health. And just to confirm, let's see. Arcane knowledge. Could be useful with life slim, uh, except it's a weapon, not an artifact. Holy touch is for skeletons. Wrath of the old gods was useful in the uh, fights I just went through. Coming up, not as much. I never replaced the helm. Heavy armor is good. Life slim. Well, hopefully it'll keep me alive. Along with Hag the Raps. I didn't sell much, but the trader's ring still helped a little bit. So the end begins. Okay. The King of Scales. So before we enter this, I want to give a little explanation about the fight, since I'm going to be focusing more on it than other fights before. The King of Scales will be accompanied by other minions, but Wrath of the Old Gods will not actually work on those minions. They will be invincible for a while. Thankfully, I can use my weapon abilities. I don't need food anymore. We are at the very end of the dungeon. Let's see. Um, let's see how well we do. Again, a token is at stake. Yeah, and he shoots spikes from his shield. Those do have friendly fire. So right away, you might see that uh the minions that the King of Scales is accompanied by have some ores around them. And Wrath of the Gods didn't actually kill the minion it hit. That's because the fight against the King of Scales, while it's a difficult fight, is not difficult because the King himself is a difficult enemy. He's quite slow to move around, and uh, he only has three attacks that he's going to get to show off here. The first one we saw, it's an overhead swing. He brings his sword down, like such. It follows you, uh, it tracks you pretty well. So keep your distance. The second attack is a body check. Uh, it can help him cover a little bit of distance. The third attack um, has the King of Scales put down his shield, which then, which then shoots needles or spikes at you. When you do that, you want to avoid being in front of the shield, and it's also a good time to be to actually move around him. 
Now the real problem with the King of Scales is that as long as he is alive, his minions are invincible, which is what the blue aura means. Now they still do accumulate thumb damage even when invincible. So when the invincibility wears off, when you kill the king, uh, the damage they've taken will accumulate. A little bit hard to actually show this in practice since it would require going in against the king multiple times. And with all of that, because the minions are invincible and the king has a shield and is going to be surrounded by all his minions, you're going to be walking around and dodging a lot. Since the melee minions and the king, them and the king himself uh, are going to be pressing you with unblockable attacks, you're going to be running and you're going to be hurting like I am right now. But once the king is down, it's actually uh, not too bad. Just don't be overwhelmed. It's very easy to lose your cool. And right now at three health, I am not keen on having to redo this fight. Ultimately, you want to kind of just press the king, stay at the king, just make sure he... Make sure he goes down first. Get the enemies afterwards and make sure to look at all those dodge indicators. But the king is down. We did it. It was a, a tough fight. But I think we're good to pick up the card. beaten all the members of my court. The game is done. Do not think that this means you are beyond judgment. You have not won your life. No, one more trick remains. Huh, a trick indeed. The dagger is our fourth MacGuffin, our fourth set of upgrades. New starting gear and food and gold bonus. Now food or gold bonus thrown around an area is going to be very nice. Good for survivability, as well as increased speed. Ratman health and Lizardman health increases. Never great, but I'm not looking forward to Lizardman fire armor. Because we're not quite done. The dagger is a symbol of the intellect's ability to cut through the ties that bind us. My intellect built this entire framework from the barest pieces. You dare take it from me? I honor our deal. You win, and you gain reward. Even though I now work against myself. Closer and closer to the truth. Let's have a look at our tokens. And for completing the Merchant's Guard uh, quest line, we now get the Merchant Guard item unlocked and the encounter, as before with the other ones. Remain. He's right about that. I hinted at it before, but he is the 13th challenge. 
and our hardest one yet. Our upgrades will be working against us as they will also be working against him. But that's for another episode. I'll see you later on Let's Play Hand of Fate. Your weapon has powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. Dead at the final gate. Sad. <laughs>